Hi everybody, good afternoon on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Thank you for joining me uh, at my open house, my second Facebook Live open house ever. Uh, today I am here at 30 Red Coach Lane in the Locust section of Middletown. This beautiful contemporary ranch is priced at $949,000. I'm going to flip the camera around, enough of me. If you, have, if you have questions, let me know and I'll answer them as we go along. I'll be uh, doing this for 30 minutes. I, if I have time, I'll wrap around and start all over again, but do ask questions if you have any. And I uh, look forward to showing you this house. A couple quick notes before we go in. In 2016, SafeWise named Middletown Township as the fifth safest city in America to raise a child. Pretty cool. Also, Wikipedia and there's uh, CNNMoney.com, they named Middletown as best 10 places to live in the United States based on uh, affluence, access to cultural activities, public schools, central commuting, we'll talk about that too. Middletown has been ranked four times as in the top 100 cities. So I don't have a stabilizer on my phone. I I'm sorry about that. And Natalie, you and I need to chat later. Um, but I want to talk about this property on one beautiful acre in Locust. So as a realtor, when a property comes on the market on Red Coach Lane, it kind of perks up our ears because it's such a cool street. Uh, you know, Locust is situated along the northern banks of the Navasink River and Clay Pit Creek. We'll talk about accessibility, etc. So let's go take a look around. Hi Fred, hi Ellen, thanks for joining me. Such a pretty, pretty, pretty contemporary ranch. Wait till you see this house, it's great. Okay, let's go in, enough of me and outside, let's go in. And again, sorry for the bumpy walk, but it'll be okay, it'll be well worth it. So you're going to see a lot of great roof lines on the exterior and then vaulted on the interior. As we're walking towards the main door, dramatic, beautiful black doors with leaded glass. Really makes a nice statement. I'll keep it, I'll quiet it down a little bit. So here we are in the interior in the foyer. The first level of this floor is 2,976 square feet. Again, it was priced, it's priced at $949,000. And the house was built in 1976, but renovated completely by the current owners. So let's start. You're gonna see, I'll turn around so you can see this side of the foyer. It's really beautiful. Really pretty. Lots of natural light. As we come in here, there's this really cool little space, little niche off to the side. Um, again, those great vaulted triangular windows, lots of light. This is a nice place just to be, to read, to have a little cup of coffee if you have a friend. And it's, it's adjoining this great room. It's a big room. It's 28 by, I think, 16. So I'll go down here and I'll pan from the back end of it. I want you to make sure you see that there's four skylights in this room. I have lights on, but you don't need them at all, at all, at all, at all. So panning around, you see beautiful lights. That back wall, that black granite wall is actually a fireplace. It's hard to see with the lights. Those are just the reflections on the granite from the skylights. It has nothing to do with those. It doesn't look like, it looks like blue eyebrows, but it's just the reflection off the skylights. And as we pan around, we see custom built-ins, big TV, a nice bar area. During these days, who doesn't need a nice bar area? It's pretty dramatic, right? Okay, so we'll head into the dining room. There's two entrances, actually three. So one here, and again at the end at the kitchen entrance and then it's a, along the side as well. Nice high ceilings. The ceilings have been lifted so they're probably 10 or 11 feet high. Overlooking the backyard. Wait till you see the backyard. It's so cool and a great day to show it. Very dramatic dining room. So straight ahead you can see the kitchen and then you can see the other access 
to the living room, great room. <clears throat> Sorry, got caught on a chair. Hmm? Okay, so there are doors that separate. So if you're having a nice intimate dinner party, these doors can be black off the kitchen. Kitchen is very contemporary, really, really cool. And wait till you see it, it's really different the way it's been organized. So it's a, there's two sections to the kitchen. Over here we have the double ovens and a six burner gas Russell range. Nice upscale appliance. And then you see a, a, a sub-zero refrigerator. One of two in the kitchen, and you'll see why. Great prep area over here with two sinks, one dishwasher, cabinetry, for storing food, and then you see a, a breakfast area beyond. As we head around here, let's just take a little peek at this powder room. Centrally located, I don't want you to get too much of me, there's a lot of mirrors, uh, off the foyer. And then also, as you just come around, you see the pool through there. So that's a nice, nice way to get from the pool if someone needs to use a restroom. So take a look of this other area, uh, other section of the kitchen. There is a central island. So if you're at the pool, you want to come in, get a cool drink. There's the door. Have a seat. Second sub-zero behind you and a little microwave, etc. And then we have another area over here. They have some barware up above. It's great. It's really nice. So that's the entrance down to the basement. We're not going to do that. We're going to go to the bedrooms first, and then I'll swing you back around. There's over 1,500 square feet down there, too. So this is a big, big contemporary ranch. Okay, and again, I apologize for the bumpiness. I'll be better the next time. So back to the foyer. One more look. It's gorgeous. So over here, you see French doors. That's all for the, bath, the, the bedroom wing. So we have four bedrooms and two full baths. Guest coat closet right here to the immediate right. Let's go. Nice raised panel system throughout this whole wing. Full bath number one has a tub. Head over here. Here's bedroom number one, not the master. Three of the four bedrooms have king size beds. They're all good, good size rooms. And this one has a skylight as well as bedroom number two. Nice room. To the right, we have bedroom number two. Again, here's another king bed. Hardwood floors, skylight, and closets. You know, with everything that's going on with the coronavirus, I think we've all, we're, a lot of us are working from home. So working from home is something we have to consider long term if this ever, God forbid, happens again. But there's two areas. I mean, this could be, this is a bedroom, but this could be a great home office. And it's located off the master. So just keep that in mind. That's pretty cool. And again, they have, you'll see these nice high windows throughout the house, allowing light. This is a nice size room. They're using it as a Ms. Pac-Man and exercise room currently. And again, it's right off the master. So this is the entryway to the master bedroom. Four sets of closet doors, mirrored closet doors. Great for senior clothes, great lighting in this room too. Nice high volume ceiling. Pretty room, neutrally painted, neutral carpet in this room. You can see the closet area. Okay, let's go take a peek at the master bathroom. Double sinks. Sorry, I think I have the lights on too much. So we have a walk-in shower with a bench, which is very handy. A separate water closet. You can look this way so you can take a look. And there's a pocket door that closes the bathroom off. And again, more skylights, beautiful skylights, lots of natural light. Okay, so we'll head back here, take another look at the master bedroom. So if, again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. 
Uh, this, I'm not sure how long this tour will take. This, I'm going for 30 minutes, but if I get the opportunity to repeat it, I certainly will. So if you miss something, I'll start out from the front all over again. Okay, again, stabilizer is, will be working for the next one. So you don't feel like you're on a bumpy plane ride. Probably too soon to say plane ride. Um, let's see. Can't help but stop and admire this foyer. It's really kind of pretty. I mean, they have two chairs in here and a nice table. Um, it's, it's a good size room. Okay, so as I told you, the house is 2,976 square feet on the first level. Now we're going to head down to the basement. Also has access to the two-car garage. Bear with me. Have to go down the stairs. So when we were talking about working from home, there's lots of spaces in this lower level if you need to work from home. Lots of spaces. I'll come back here so you can get a full pan of the room. And I'll show you all the rooms that we're, I'm circling around looking at. Okay, so let's start back here. They use this as an office as well. So again, this could be a really nice office. It has closets. You could also make it a bedroom. There's heat down here. It's easy. Lots of storage rooms in this house. Here's one. There's a, several of them. King size bed in this bedroom with a closet. And then as we pan around here, you can get another look of this. They have a couple of exercise pieces of exercise equipment back there. Okay, let's see yet another storage space. I'm telling you, this has lots of storage. Nice and clean. Good storage. It smells nice and dry too. Not that you can smell it, but I can. Nice and dry. Okay, back this way. Located on this level, we've got closets on either side of the laundry room. Laminate floor, gets the job done. Lots of toilet paper. Someone's been to Costco. Um, come around here, and this is the like a mudroom area off the garage. So they keep a lot of their sports equipment here. So since you're, it makes sense. If you're coming, you pull into the garage, and you can just park your golf clubs here. Everything would be there. Two-car garage, a little dark, but you'll see it. One garage door there, one garage door there. And there's even, you know, niches for extra storage as needed. Here's a sink here if you need to wash things off. It's just not bad to have an extra sink to wash shoes off or whatever. There is a full bathroom on this level. Oh, it's a shower stall, laminate floor, pedestal sink, and yet one more storage room. Great space. So if anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to give a holler. Someone wants to know what's the population of Middletown. My records show 66,522. 22, not 23. Okay, let's go outside because I know it's a beautiful day and I want to be outside as well. So let's do this. Okay. Three sets of sliding doors that go to this one acre property. We're in the rear yard. It's nice to hear the birds. Sorry I'm moving around so much. It's so peaceful. If you head that way, you go to the side yard, going back to the front. There's a whole house generator on the side. The house is heated by gas heat, natural gas heat. Go up and around. Pool's not open yet, but look at that pool. It's so inviting. Again, we believe the beaches are going to open, but if they're not, they have a pool. And then look at this deck. Their furniture isn't out yet, but this is a great deck. 
And again, right in there, there's the, the island with the beverage and the refrigerator beyond. So this is a beautiful acre property. Since we're here, what I want to talk about too are some of the parks in the area. So if you're not familiar with the parks, we have uh, Huber Woods and Hartshorn Woods. So Huber Woods is back there. I mean, it's really back there. It's, all, it's uh, let me see, I have 381 acres with eight miles of trail. Pretty cool. I love Huber Woods, and then a couple miles away, not even, is Hartshorn Woods. That's 794 acres. Great, great, great parks in Middletown. Again, if anybody has any questions, let me know. I think I'll take it down. We'll go around this way and go back to the front. Sorry. <laughs> so the two car garages are located on the other side of the house and they're the below the house. You saw us when we were down in the lower level, you could see the, the garages. I want you to take a nice look at this yard. I mean, really, it's level. It's all fenced. Pretty cool. And then over here, you can see this is the side yard I mentioned. Let's see if we can get out to the front. There's the Generac, just in case. Better safe than sorry. Nobody wants to be without power, air conditioning, all that fun thing. Okay, let's open this up. So here we are at the front. Nice buffer off Red Coach Lane. Again, it's a cul-de-sac, so it doesn't get a lot of traffic at all, mostly just the people who live here or their visitors. Mature trees, they've all been raised properly. I want you to see the front of the house. I'm gonna walk down to the street so you can see the street view. It's really nice landscaping as soon as you turn in. Nice way to greet your guests circular driveway this was all just added recently it's really pretty there was a big shrub here it's so much nicer and you get a nice view of the house it's gorgeous so if anybody has any questions just let me know tons of privacy at this house a lot of privacy when you go down to the street i mean it's so quiet i've been here not a car has gone by In case you're wondering exactly where everything is, the ferry terminal, if you're going to go into the city, the Atlantic Highlands Ferry Terminal, it's a seven minute ride and there's free parking. Middletown has its own train station. Middletown, there's places you can pick up the bus if you want to go into the city. So I'm going to repeat this tour now in case anybody's just joining me. I still have, it looks like I have a good 10 minutes left, so I'll be able to go through it one more time. So if you have any questions, let me know. If not, thank you for joining me and uh, hope to hear from you. Again, 30 Red Coach Lane in the Locust section of Middletown, $949,000. First level of this contemporary home is 2,976 square feet. Five bedrooms, three and a half baths, two car garage, in-ground pool, one acre. Whole house generator. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so again, thank you for joining me. If you're just coming on now. <laughs> this is a beautiful contemporary ranch. Perfect for layout. Great entertainment for, uh, for moving around. Don't you love the roof lines? I like homes that are different, not cookie cutter. This is not a cookie cutter house. It's really cool. It's, it feels very at home in its settings too, it really does. So nice wide entryway. I was saying earlier that this house, this house, Middletown was named by Safeway um, as the fifth safest city in America to raise a child. That's pretty cool. 
and that CNN Money, as reported by Wikipedia, um, has stated that it is, let me get my notes, Middletown has been ranked four times in the top 100 cities to live in in the United, best places to live in the U.S. And that was based on affluence, access to cultural activities, the public schools, um, central commuting locations. I talked about that with the ferry. It's so easy to get into the city. Uh, let's see. So anyhow, let's go inside. Look at this entrance. Look at these beautiful double doors with the leaded glass. Beautiful foyer. I'll turn around so you can see it properly. Let's do this. You're going to see a lot of the uh, high windows. So all the ceilings were raised and they put the windows. It's just beautiful. Lots of natural light. Again, very dramatic foyer. Seating for two. Nice table to drop your keys off when you come inside. Guest coat closet is behind us. As we pan around here, heading towards the great room, we have a small area over here. Like, this is, like I said, one of my favorite areas. Nice place to sit to read a book, after dinner drink, evening coffee. Really nice. Great room measures 27.8 inches by 21.3 inches. It's a really big grand room. Again, this, this whole flow is so good for entertaining. It's pretty dramatic with the dark rug. It's kind of cool. Four skylights. I'll show them to you from this angle. You can see them up there. Along that back wall, you can see the entrances into the dining room. And then the, that black wall, that's all granite, and it's a fireplace, and it's beautiful, a nice gas fireplace. Those are not, those are just the reflections of the skylights on the granite. It's not blue lights. All custom built-ins all throughout. Beautiful lighting. As I said, high ceilings. So let's head into the dining room. Overlooks the backyard. Very pretty. There are doors that can be closed to separate the dining room from the kitchen. In case you're a messy cook and you don't want people to see, you want people to see the mess in the kitchen. But anyhow, there's a second entrance. So you have the one entrance I just walked through, second entrance, and then the entrance into the kitchen. I did that again. Hi, Natalie. So as you come into the kitchen, you're going to see immediately on the left, the double ovens, really cool contemporary cabinets. And then you're going to see a six burner Russell range, really high end, and the first of two sub zeros. You'll see why. Swing around here, we see sink, there's a dishwasher, and then there's cupboards to the right. Very cool contemporary brown cabinetry. I'm gonna, before I forget, I'm gonna show you there is a powder room right here, conveniently located from anywhere on this level for your guests, living room, pool. Come through here and you can see there's three sets of French doors overlooking the backyard. I'm gonna swing around because this is important. If you're at the pool, you can come right in. This is a nice tiled floor. You come in, you can have a Drink, cool drink here. There's a second Sub-Zero refrigerator over there. And then there's an area beyond. You could actually put another table. There's a little desk over there with cookbooks and all barware. These are the stairs to the lower level. We're not going to do that just yet. If there's time, I'll bring you back down there. The lower level is a 1,150 square feet. Lots of rooms. As I was saying the last time, with everybody working from home, this home offers a lot of opportunities on the lower level, on this level. Before we go downstairs again, I still have time, good, we'll, we'll get it done. I'm gonna take you to the bedroom area first. So French doors for the bedroom wing, 
You can see that beautiful raised panel. It's going to bring us all the way down and through. This is the first full bath for the three bedrooms here. The master has its own, of course, and this is a tub. Bedroom number one. Three of these four bedrooms have king size beds, and there's a king size bed down in the lower level base uh, bedroom as well. Nice size rooms. Skylight. Love the skylight. Swing around here, and we'll see this. Bedroom number two, again, king size bed, skylight, closets. Pretty cool. Hardwood floors. This is a great opportunity for, I mean, it's a bedroom, but it could be a great work from home office. Um, it's adjacent to the master bedroom. It would be great. And you've got extra bedrooms too. So, and again, there's those windows that I love. Natalie's comments, I agree. It's a major kitchen, Natalie. It's really great. It's, it was well thought out. So let's go into the master. That's what we're looking at right now. As we enter into the master, it's lined with closets, four double door closets, lots of room, and mirrors so you can see how beautiful you look before you leave the house. Volume ceiling in the master bedroom, three large windows. Come around here, let's take a peek at the master bathroom. There is a door to separate, and this too has really nice high ceilings with a skylight. Love natural light in the bathroom. Walk-in closet and walk-in shower. That's not a closet. Nice bench. Separate water closet with a door. And I'm going to swing around so you can get a picture of the scene of the two double sinks. And lots of light. And of course, as you would expect, skylights. Beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to bring you downstairs before the time is up. I want you to see that. I want to whisk you out to see the pool too. Let's see what I should do first. Anybody have a preference? Okay, let's go out. I hope you're following me. Okay, we're back to the main foyer. Give you one more glimpse of that front door and the light above it. Even if I go over, I'm going to show you the whole thing. I don't care. Okay, let's go downstairs. Now, one more shot. I think it's really important to see the kitchen from this angle because it's really pretty major. I mean, look at this. It's crazy. It's really gorgeous. Okay, let's go downstairs. 1,150 square feet. There is a bedroom down here. There's a full bathroom down here. The laundry's down here. Lots of storage rooms. And what you're going to see, too, is the opportunity for additional work from home space. So I'll start from over here. Let me back up. You can, I'll pan around. So it's a big enough space. You can see the hot water baseboard heat, which is my favorite kind of heat. Nice and moist. Nice high ceilings. So I'm being asked if schools are close by. Absolutely. This... Um, Red Coach Lane would go to Navasink Elementary, which is literally about a two or three minute ride. Great schools. It would go to Middletown South High School and then Bayshore Elementary, uh, Middle School. Middletown South High School, okay. So here is one of the places that you could use as a home office. There is a closet. I mean, they do use it as a home office, which is great. It's great. We have, here's one of the storage rooms, great storage spaces. If you were here, you could smell it's nice and dry, nice and clean. They do use this as a bedroom. This is bedroom number five. King size bed again. It's a good size room. Double closets. Very nice. Pan around so you can see this whole functional space. They have exercise equipment here. They want the, their son watches TV down here. It's great. Look at this storage room. Not bad. Nice and big. Very organized. Okay, so let's head here. I'm going to whisk you around. Laundry room is over here with closets on either side of the entrance to the laundry room. There is a sink for washing in the laundry room. Big room. Lots of paper towels. So back here, I'm going to, let's see, we're going to go over here. This is 
if you come in through the garage door, this is a mudroom area. I think it's great. They put all their sports equipment here, so organized, so, so organized. As you swing around here, it's a little dark, but we have the two-car garage. Makes sense to me to have this here. And you can close the door off and never have to let it come in. This is great, too. They put a sink in the, right, in the basement as soon as you come in. So let's say you have to wash something off. It's, it's uh, right there. And so now, there is a full bathroom and on this lower level. So this is a shower. If, you know, if you have guests, if you, a lot of kids, uh, family, whatever, this is nice space to have. And yes, one more storage room. So much space, lots of space, lots of natural light too, because the garage's entry are at grade level. Okay, let me bring you outside before we bid adieu. Um, let's go upstairs. Sorry, a little bumpy. Natalie, no stabilizer. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about this property, it's not just one thing. I mean, if I'm inside, it's hands down, it's this kitchen and the great room. But then when you go outside, you're, you've got this level one acre with this crazy big pool. Look at how beautiful this is. It's not open yet, it'll be open soon. The other thing to keep in mind is that Middletown has fabulous parks. Huber Woods is literally right up there. It's 381 acres with eight miles of trail. I also go to Hartshorn Woods, which is 794 acres. It's, it's probably not even a mile away. It's probably a half mile away. But this is really pretty. Very, very, very nice. If nobody has any other questions, we're probably going to log off at this time. But I want to thank you so much for coming. And I hope that I, I get calls. If you want to see the property, don't hesitate me. It's very, hesitate to call me. It's very easy. And just to repeat, 30 Red Coach Lane, the list price is $949,000. That main level, that beautiful main level that we just saw is 2,976 square feet with that full basement. Five bedrooms in total three and a half baths, two car garage, this pool that we're looking at, 1,100 finished square feet down in the basement. Very nice. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Don't hesitate to call me at 908-902-5035 to text me. If you have any questions, you can email me at BernadetteBNJ at gmail.com. Thanks again. Appreciate it.